And now for something completely different. Let's go to the park! Because why not? It's a new year, so we're gonna try something new and go outside the theme park box today. Of course, I'm not really sure what a theme park shaped box would look like. It might be kind of weird to put stuff in though. You'd pack it full of stuff and be like, I could have sworn that I left my baseball cap somewhere next to Space Mountain. I better go check next to Ghost Rider. Yeah, that would be weird. So today we are visiting Bringle Terrace Park, which is nestled comfortably in the lush green hills of Vista, California. Now, 39 of the original 56 acres that make up Bringle Terrace Park were donated by a local married couple by the name of Ralph and Emma Brangle back in 1968. And the park was officially dedicated on July 4th, 1972. It was a Tuesday. Now, because this is not an amusement park, there's no roller coasters or dark rides or churros or monsters or cosplayers signing autographs. And while all those things are really cool and really fun, this place is a different kind of cool and fun because there's nothing better than a cool, fun day at the park. Better than a hot and boring one, right? We'll have none of those here because this place has a rec center with basketball and volleyball courts, and there's tennis courts outside. It's been quite a while since I've played that game. I lost my racket years ago. They've also got outdoor courts for basketball and pickleball. And pickles have nothing to do with that game. Kind of like you'll never find a gourd anywhere near a game of squash. Who names these games anyway? Hey, y'all want to play a game of cornhole? Yep, just as soon as we're done with our game of broccoli and cauliflower. There's also some ball fields here, because what self-respecting park doesn't have those? Certainly not this one. And over in this area, we've got some sand volleyball courts, which are B-Y-O-B-A-N. That's bring your own ball and net. And of course they got a bunch of playground equipment with things to climb on and slide down. And speaking of sliding down things, see that great big hill right there? People may or may not have been known to ice block down that hill back in the day. No, not me. I've just heard stories. Wait, you don't know what ice blocking is? Well, it's where you get a big block of ice and you sit on it, Potsy, and ride it like a slide all the way down the hill. It's exactly what it sounds like. Go figure. But I don't think that I would recommend ice blocking here. It's probably against park rules and not to mention the grass is probably like, hey, that ice is cold, stop that. You know, Bringle Terrace Park starts out at street level on this side, but it's a climb on that side. I'm actually unsure whether to call this a mountain a molehill, or a gopher mound. Either way, it's impressive and great exercise. Now, if sliding and climbing aren't your things, there's always disc golf. No, not dat golf, disc golf. Now that is a game I'm definitely not good at. Allow me to demonstrate. With this virtual comics frisbee that I got at Comic-Con years ago, or Flying Disc, if you prefer the non-copyrighted brand name term. Okay, maybe I'm not as bad as I thought I was. Now, right next to this hole is a large concrete pad where a gazebo used to sit many, many years ago. But it's no longer here. But this one is... Don't care much for disc golf? Well, right over here by the gazebo are the bocce ball courts. You don't have to speak bocce to play bocce, though maybe some Italian might be good. I suppose it depends on what galaxy the other players are from. That's a Star Wars joke. 
Now, in addition to all the cool stuff that I've already shown you, Bringle Terrace Park is also home to the Moonlight Amphitheater, where performers have been entertaining audiences since it opened on July 4th, 1976. You know, our country's bicentennial. That means 200 years. Nothing like a picnic and a play in the park. And there's plenty of picnic spots here. So bring the sandwiches and the fried chicken and the potato salad and the boysenberry pie. Now I'm hungry. So in addition to all the fun recreations here at Bringle Terrace, there is one feature about this park that is truly exceptional. Because right at the center of the park, at the top of the hill, is the Alta Vista Botanical Gardens, a community garden with multiple themed areas, which incorporate pieces of garden art, sculptures, and other creative pieces from local artists. And the goal of the garden is to leave no stone unturned in the quest to bring nature, art, and people together. Let's go take a look. Looks like you get a free succulent if you sign up for a membership with the garden. Cool. And since I'm not a member, it costs $5, so there you go, garden. Eat up. All right, so I guess we'll start out by heading this way up the hill. All right, so first stop is the Bugs, Birds, and Butterflies Children's Garden. Looks like they host different kinds of activities here in the garden periodically. And this place, wow, this is really cool looking. And the award for most creative use of an old concrete drainage pipe goes to... In fact, it's a whole bunch of old concrete drainage tubes. Think we can make it through there? I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, I'm never doing that again. I'm six foot tall and that's like four. My legs are on fire after crouching through all 10 of those sections. Ugh. So this is a bunch of chicken wire and rebar shaped to look like a horse, but it's filled with like a bunch of cotton or something. Interesting. This sculpture brought to you by Microsoft. Oh, dinosaurs are so cute when they're this age. Mainly because they can't swallow you whole at that size. Ain't that right, you little herbivore? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Check out this sea serpent slithering its way through the garden landscape. How cool is that? Okay, so there's some activities over here. A wobbly bridge. Well, there's no one here to monitor me, but uh, I'm gonna brave it anyways. One me at a time. All right, here we go. Wobbly bridge. Oh no. Well, you know, it's actually pretty structurally sound and not very wobbly. I think that bridge's wobbliness was slightly over exaggerated. Okay, hurdle jumps. Once again, I'm on my own. All right, slow and steady makes the jump. And here we go. We're jumping and we're jumping and we're jumping and we made it. Great job. I'm totally killing it at this decathlon. Alice's Hidden Tea Room. I kind of have one of these at home in my backyard, which you saw at the beginning of the video. Let's check out theirs. Okay, so 
I see a place to have tea. I don't see a Cheshire cat or a March hare or a Mad Hatter or a Queen of Hearts anywhere. I guess you just have to use your imagination. Off with their heads. All right, next event is the balance beam. Here we go. Doing good, doing good on the second turn. Got one more turn coming up and we're going uphill and we're turning and we're turning and here comes the dismount. Little hop on the landing, I give it a nine. 9.95 that is. Check out this garden. They've been taking a lot of care with this one. Got some turtles. And a big old windmill. And a fountain of succulents. Some birdhouses. Though they're uh, not open for residents. Although there is a little roadrunner here. Meep meep. Oh, there's a music garden here too. Let's check that out. Right up my alley. Okay, this, I don't think this thing's on. Oh wait, it's just a photo op. Check it out. It's a banjo bench. A bench that's shaped like a banjo. What will they think of next? Okay, um, this one's interesting. Shake my chain. Well, I don't know if it's music, but I don't know if it's music. Piano pebble chime. Gently put pebbles in holes. Finally, a musical use for gravel. So the pebbles just hit different length nails inside there. To create a uh, horror film soundtrack of sorts. Very cool. Whale drum. Let's see what this does. drum ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and over here they got a wooden xylophone. Let's see how this thing sounds. All right. Well, that was fun. But it's time to move on. But before we do, I did mention that I was hungry. So it's time for a picnic lunch right here in the garden. Right where all these effigies will be staring at me the entire time. Cool. And for lunch today, we're gonna have some chicken fettuccine with mushrooms that is very delicious, and I'm gonna eat it with chopsticks. Let's dig in.
Oh, and since we're doing homemade foods today, for dessert, I'm gonna have a piece of boysenberry coffee taffy that I made a couple weeks ago. Delicious. All right, now that I'm refueled, it's time to be moving on. See you later, effigies. Ah, we have reached a fork in the road. Let's take the right fork. I'm liking this section of the garden. Water is life. This is quite idyllic, I must say. Oh wow, check this out. I should have eaten my lunch here. Or down there. So I guess there's turtles in this pond here, but apparently you don't want to touch them because they may carry diseases. And look, there's one of the turtles now. Not touching it. I think it's sleeping. Okay, so there's an inspirational rock garden this way and dessert. I mean, desert. Okay, so it appears we've left the United States and now are at Easter Island. Ain't that right? One kahuna, two kahuna, three kahuna. What? That's it. They're just three kahunas. Okay, so the trail keeps going that way, but it kind of looks like it splits off down this little more decrepit path. Do we dare explore it? I say we dare. Yeah, so there's a lot of little trails to explore back in here with a variety of curios, Easter eggs, and points of interest along the way. Just remember to bring your walking legs if you come here. You'll be hoofing it up and down the hills on these trails. Oh, I think I found the desert, I mean desert garden. Yeah, this looks like the desert garden. Lots of succulents, perfect kind of plants for a desert like California. and some gravel on a bench. Ooh, I recognize this one. I forget what it's called, but I see it growing at different places around SeaWorld. Gotta be careful walking through this section. One wrong step and you will get the point. What? Did you think that I was gonna go through a whole episode without one? You know better. Now, let's check out the California Natives Garden. See what's in there. Guess we gotta get to it up this windy little trail, which reminds me of some of the trails that I've hiked on camping trips over the years. Very narrow, winding around through the forest. Pretty cool. Yeah, with the different species of plants that they have growing here, this definitely has that native California trail feel to it. With both the flora and the fauna. Well, maybe not this kind of fauna. Triceratopsises haven't been native to California for a very long time. The same goes for Velociraptors and Spinosaurus and Tyrannosaurus rexans. Ooh, look, there's a labyrinth. No sign of David Bowie anywhere. I think it's safe to go in. Let's see if we can find the center. Yeah. 
and there it is the chewy nougat center of the labyrinth although i wouldn't recommend taking a bite of that chewy nougat center you might break your teeth check it out this guy just saw the price of eggs me too buddy me too now that's a pretty cool looking gazebo Sponsored by the Women's Club of Vista. Some more of that life-giving water flowing, though I wouldn't recommend drinking it. It looks kind of dirty. Check it out. More turtles. A big old herb garden over here. With a couple of metallic chefs frozen in time for all eternity. Whoa, check out the cool Egyptian obelisk. If I see Sirius Sam anywhere around here, I'm sticking close to him. So there's a lot of really cool stuff to see and interact with here at Alta Vista Gardens. But no, the this garden is ever-changing. So the stuff that you see here in this video may not be here if you visit. Or it might be. Or there might be some new stuff. You'll just have to come here and see for yourself. Oh, and they even got a garden shop with snacks, gifts, and plants. But it's closed right now. And speaking of which, the garden is closing now too. So with that, it's time for me to head on out. Thank you for joining me on this little trip to Bringle Terrace Park and Alta Vista Gardens. Till next time, see you later. Quiet.